Welcome back to CoachRob.com. In this video I want to describe a game that we play with our athletes in the pool called Stroke Golf. There are numerous schools of thought about what's the most efficient way to get from one end of the pool to the other. And what I want you to see here is that there is no ideal scenario because it's so individualized based on strength levels, fatigue levels, and body height and arm length. Now what I want you to notice is in this first length of the pool we're having her do just slight of a uh, catch-up drill. You'll notice that she's not waiting till her hands completely touch but she's not swimming a normal freestyle tempo. What we did right there was we just counted her strokes and she just swam 15 strokes to get to one length of the pool. Now what we do is we increase her arm turnover ever so slightly and we capture that stroke count as well. Now here's the key to stroke golf what you're trying to do is find the right combination of arm turnover and create the fastest rate of speed from point A to point B each end of the pool. Now what you have to remember is the faster you start moving your arms the easier it is for your inefficiency factor to go up and what I mean by that is when people start rushing their stroke they lose the leverage of the water their hips drop because they're raising their head to breathe and they start to kick way too fast which sucks extra oxygen out of your system. So to make stroke golf work for you what you need to do is you need to be capturing your elapsed time per 100 yards four lengths of the pool and you need to compare that against your elapsed time. If you're finding that your stroke count is going up four or five and it's only saving you a second meaning you're one second faster that's not a good return on your effort put in. So what I want you to do is give this game a try Try to find out what is your personal stroke rate and then apply that to open water swimming. If you have any questions, please visit us at CoachRob.com.